one cable news show for 10 years and counting. The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks, Stan Wittes and Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment tonight, part two of my interview with Bill Maher, who is one of the most adamant voices against religion and conservative people in America. In fact, Mr. Maher is blunt. Conservatives and believers are morons. You've been on some cable uh, uh, competition to Fox, which is why many people probably didn't hear you say this, um, because nobody watches. But you say on a, on a couple of shows that I saw that a lot of Americans are too stupid. They just don't understand what's going on, and therefore they make fallacious decisions. Do you feel comfortable saying, look, you American people, most of you are dunderheads, and you just don't understand? And I do. You do feel comfortable Yes, I with do. That? Okay. I absolutely. Absolutely. 60% of, the, 60 of the American people, Bill, believe the Noah's Ark story is literally true. Okay. Well, I don't know any of those country, people. I don't know how to def you know, I think they found Noah's Ark on some mountain anybody? in Turkey. Didn't they find it up there? But, but that's in your Bible. I mean, if you're a religious person and the Bible is written by God, why isn't why is stuff in the Bible untrue? Well, because I mean, it's allegorical, Bill. Story, I'm sure you know. It's in your, it, I'm sure you know it's, it's in, allegorical, and these well, are parables, and they're designed I, to pay, to oh, to really? teach you a greater truth that it apparently has eluded you. But you well, know, what, it's well, not okay. a literalist well, what, interpretation what, what of the Bible. The, well, I thought it was the word of God. I thought it was literal, and a lot of religious people do. Okay, what about the part in the Bible that says, if you see your neighbor working on a Sunday, you should kill him? Is that a parable, or is that literal? I, I think that's probably uh, what... I, I don't know that parable. Can you? Is that Romans, Ecclesiastes? Where did that come from? It's not from? a parable. No, no, it's, a, it's in Deuteronomy. It's a law. It's a law. If you see your neighbor working on Sunday, you should kill you him. you got to kill yes. him. It doesn't sound like a parable okay. to me. But if it's your perfect holy book written by God, why is there stuff in it that makes no sense? Well, let me break or this is to immoral? you. Let me break this to you. I respect the Bible, and I, and I take it as an allegorical book. But I'm a Christian, so the New Testament is what... Uh, I believe in, and the Old Testament, <laughs> written by it. prophets. I love the you way know, the Christian. God right, but 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 they're both written by God, right? No, I mean, God didn't sit down and write it. They book. were written by prophets, and they were written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and God, real human beings who actually I, took it down. Right. We're talking about the Old Testament now. You know, I, I know all the Christians want to get behind the happy half of the Bible, where Jesus walks on water. <laughs> well, maybe, and turns maybe that's the love half the of the Bible that teaches you to love your neighbor as yourself. That's right. maybe, maybe that's what but we're trying to get behind here, Mar. I don't know really the downside but you, but of that. But you can't. But you can't disavow the Old Testament. That I'm not is, disavowing that anything. I'm telling you what Jesus I believe in, and what I believe in is love your neighbor as yourself, and don't call them stupid because they don't agree with you politically. <laughs> but uh, but if you're saying that some things in the Bible are true and other things aren't, it's not like the Constitution, Bill. It was written by God or inspired by God. So how come so much of it is either wacky or immoral? Look, that's the way you see it. All right, other people see it in a different way. I don't know any Christians killing or Jews. Your neighbor, killing I don't know your any neighbor, Christians or killing Jews your killing a neighbor working on Sunday. Yes, I don't I, know anybody who does that except I, I Ted do Bundy. See okay, that's all, and he's dead. But, Bill, the only reason you believe what you believe is for two, it can only come from two places. Either somebody told you, like you're a minister, you're, you're a priest, a preacher, or you read it in one of the holy books. All right. Well, right? I, That's I read, why you know I read the you New know. Testament. There doesn't seem to be a lot of downside to being like Jesus. He seemed to be a pretty good guy to me, Bill. And I think if Jesus were in charge of the country guy, he, or the world, else? we'd all be in a, a lot better place, would we not? Right. I think if Jesus was in charge of the country, we probably would have health care for everybody. All right. And I that might be Jesus true quite siding, because he could multiply the loaves and fishes well and we wouldn't have to have, you know, a lot of stuff that we have to have. All right. Now, multiply the loaves and fishes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And he I'm could feed everybody. Who's, who's, who's the I'm the bad guy for saying people are dumb. Listen, Bill, you're, you're free to believe what you want to believe. If you want to believe that a, a little meteorite crashed into the earth and Bill Maher emerged from some swamp someplace, you go right ahead and believe it, man. You and Richard Dawkins and all Who your crew, that? you can't what, what, explain how the earth got here. You think that's what we here? believe? A, a, you can't we, explain we, how the earth got here? Can you, you can't. Right. Nobody can, ex nobody can explain it, but it doesn't mean that we should make up stories like children to explain All right. it. We at least admit, I don't know. You, you don't, don't know. admit that. So don't denigrate people you, of you faith because your faith that there isn't a God, that there isn't, is just as much of a leap That's, as those who believe. It's just no, it's as not. much, but on the no, other side. Not. 
Absolutely not, Bill. You, you are championing faith, which is the purposeful suspension of critical thinking. That is not what I'm doing. No, you are mocking people who actually have sincere beliefs and follow people like Jesus who did right. very good things. You mock them, you denigrate them, you make them or try to make them look stupid. Right. That's not noble, Bill. It's as not Je noble. As Je There's a great quote from Tr Thomas Jefferson about how ridic ridicule is the only appropriate way to handle such fantasy. All right. Always lively with you, Mark. I'll send it to okay. you. Okay. And uh, we, uh, we wish you well as always. Thanks for coming on. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Now, the Bible passage uh, Ma referred to is from Exodus, not Deuteronomy. And it reads, quote, Whosoever does any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death, unquote. However, here is the context. There is no mention of neighbors. The passage was based on Moses reporting to the Jews that God would handle the Sabbath situation. As for Bill Maher, you have to give him credit for debating. Many far-left people are too cowardly to do that. The entire, entire Maher interview, uncut, is posted on foxnews.com.